Good morning, good morning, it's great to be with you. Good morning, good morning to you and you and you and you. Good morning, good morning, there's lots of work to do. Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, friends. I am coming to you from my home today. We've been spending a lot of time at home lately, haven't we? Well, let's start with our calendar. This is my calendar from my home. It's showing March, and it's actually got a really great picture of a boat here that I like so much. A green boat at that. Um, let's count how many days there have been in the month of March. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and today is the thirtieth. See if you can repeat after me. Today is Monday, the thirtieth, of March 2020. Well, friends, I thought we could start our day feeling very peaceful, smelling a flower, blowing out a candle. Let's smell another flower. Blow out a candle. That feels good. I have my ukulele here, so. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like is love. And we'd show love like love like an ocean, ocean waves. Ready? I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got love like an ocean. one is joy and we show joy like joy like a fountain make your fountain really shoot up high in the air ready i've got joy like a fountain i've got joy like a fountain i've got joy like a fountain in my soul i've got joy Let's do all three. I've got peace like a river. I've got love like an ocean. I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I've got love like an ocean. I've got joy. friends. So, now that we're feeling peaceful, I thought we'd talk about the animal that we have been talking about lately. This animal, I'll give you some hints. Sometimes they're green, sometimes they're brown. I've even seen black ones before. Sometimes they're bumpy, sometimes they're smooth. Their skin is a little bit slimy, 
and they mostly hop to get around. And they have legs in the front and legs in the back, and they hatch from an egg. Can you think of what I'm thinking of? And I'll give you one last hint. It starts with f frog, a frog. And we have learned that frogs are a type of amphibian. That's what type of animal they are. They're an amphibian, and so are salamanders and newts, too. And if you go digging around in a stream, you might find a salamander. There are many salamanders that live in North Carolina, and we're so lucky because, believe it or not, there are the most types of salamanders right here in western North Carolina where we live. Ugh, we're so lucky. So, frogs, not salamanders. We're talking about frogs. I almost said salamander. But salamanders are a type of amphibian. And amphibians, they're all cold-blooded, so they don't have warm blood like mammals. They have cold blood. They do not have scales like a reptile. They live in the land and in the water and they lay eggs. So, let's clap that out. Amphibian, amphibian. That's four claps, four syllables. But amphibians do something pretty special. They go through a process called metamorphosis. Can you say that with me? Metamorphosis. That's a long word. See if you can say it. Yeah, metamorphosis. Let's clap that out. Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. Five syllables, five claps. And metamorphosis is when the frog is first born, it's an egg, and then it grows into a tadpole. And then the tadpole changes, and it cha its body grows, and it changes, and it changes into a frog. And that's what our song about frogs and amphibians is about metamorphosis. Let's practice that song again, because I really like that song. Let's see if I can get it. All right. Remember, frogs are amphibians. Frogs are amphibians. They lay their eggs in the water. When they hatch, they're a tadpole. And they swim in the lakes and streams. So that's all about metamorphosis. Let's try it again. So you can memorize it and then you can sing it for your families. Frogs are amphibians. They lay their eggs in the water. When they hatch, they're a tadpole and they swim in the lakes and streams. Then they grow their hind legs. That's their back legs. their forelegs, kind of like our arms. Then they lose their tails and they're ready to live on the land. Frogs are amphibians and they go through metamorphosis. Well, friends, let's see. What should we do? Oh, I had a song stuck in my head the other day. And I know that many of you like this song, and I thought we'd sing it. And this song, whew, I gotta take a deep breath before we begin this one. Get your arm going like this. Ready? Oh, oh, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, yo. Oh, oh, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, yo. Remember how we talked about bogs, that bogs are kind of like this marshy, muddy space uh, in nature? And a valley is like the low space between two mountains. So the bog is down in the valley. The, the big, muddy area is down the valley. Okay. And in that bog there was a hole, a rare hole and a rattling hole in the hole in the bog, in the bog down in the valley, yo. Oh. 
Oh, oh, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, yo. Oh, oh, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, yo. And in that hole there was a seed, a rare seed and a rattling seed, and the seed in the hole and the hole in the bog and the bog down in the valley, yo. Oh, oh, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, yo. Oh, oh, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, yo. And in that seed there was a tree, a rare tree and a rattling tree, and the tree and the seed and the seed and the hole and the hole and the bog and the bog down in the valley, yo. Oh, oh, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, yo. Oh, oh, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, yo. And in on that tree there was a branch, a rare branch, and a rattling branch, and the branch on the tree, and the tree, and the seed, and the seed, and the hole, and the hole, and the bog, and the bog down in the valley, yo. Oh, oh, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, yo. Oh, oh, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, yo. And on that branch there was a twig, a rare twig, and a rattling twig, and the twig on the branch, and the branch on the tree, and tree, and the seed, and the seed, and the hole, and the hole, and the bog, and the bog down in the valley, yo. Oh, oh, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, yo. Oh, oh, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, yo. And on that twig there was a nest, a rare nest and a rattling nest in the nest on the twig and the twig on the branch and the branch on the tree and the tree and the seed, the seed and the hole and the hole and the bog and the bog down in the valley, yo. Oh, oh, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, yo. Oh, oh, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, yo. And in that nest there was an egg, a rare egg and a rattling egg in the egg in the nest in the nest in the twig and the twig on the branch and the branch on the tree and the tree and the seed and the seed in the hole and the hole in the bog and the bog down in the valley, yo. Oh, oh, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, yo. Oh, oh, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, yo. And in that s, er, sorry, and in that egg, there was a, what do you think was in the egg? A frog? <laughs> a bird? I think it was a bird. And in that egg there was a bird, a rare bird, and a rattling bird, and the bird, and the egg, and the egg, and the nest, and the nest, on the twig, and the twig, and the branch, and the branch, and the tree, and the tree, and the seed, and the seed, and the hole, and the hole, and the bog, and the bog down in the valley, yo. Oh, oh, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, yo. Oh, oh, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, yo. And on that bird there was a feather, a rare feather, and a rattling feather, and the feather on the bird, and the bird, and the egg, and the egg, and the nest, and the nest, and the twig, and the twig, on the branch, and the branch, and the tree, and the tree, and the seed, and the seed, and the hole, and the hole, and the bog, and the bog down in the valley, yo. Oh, oh, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, yo. Oh, oh, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, yo. And on that feather there was a bug, a rare bug, and a rattling bug, and the bug on the feather, and the feather on the bird, and the bird on the nest, the fur, wait, bird, and the egg, and the egg, and the nest, and the nest, and the twig, and the twig on the branch, and the branch, and the tree, and the tree, and the seed, and the seed, and the hole, and the hole, and the bog, and the bog down in the valley, yo. Oh, oh, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, yo. Oh, oh, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, yo. Whew. That song takes a lot of breath. <sighs> well. I love that song. I think it's a lot of fun. And this is one of the books that I think is also one of the most fun books to read. The Pigeon Finds a Hot Dog by Mo Willems. Ooh, a hot dog. Flap, flap, flap. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Ah, may I help you? Look who showed up. Guest starring Duckling. Is that a hot 
hot dog. Not a hot dog. My hot dog. Ah, I have a question. Pigeon's just about to take a bite and then a little duckling all of a sudden has a question. I've never had a hot dog before. What do they taste like? Well, they are a taste sensation. Each morsel is a joy, a celebration in a bun. If you've never experienced the splendor of a hot dog, you should really... Wait a second. This hot dog is mine. I found it. Oh, well, of course. Enjoy. Go ahead. Ah. Say it tastes like chicken. What do you think? If you eat hot dogs, do they taste like chicken? Can you believe this guy? What? It just tastes like a hot dog, okay? Okay, okay. So, it doesn't taste like chicken? Oh, for Pete's sake. Hey, I'm a curious bird. That's it! No, oh, look at poor duckling. Pigeon was being so loud that he just flew right off the page. It's my hot dog, right? Mine, mine, mine. This is unbelievable. Finders keepers is what I say. I'm a curious bird. What do they taste like? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, right. I can't take it anymore. What am I supposed to do? I think I've got an idea. You know, you're pretty smart for a duckling. Hmm. Needs mustard. The end. Well, my friends, it has been lovely spending time with you this morning singing songs, learning about frogs, and that they go through a special process called meta metamorphosis. You got it. All right, let's offer our peace. Get your peace ready. I offer you peace. I offer you friendship. I offer you love. I hear your needs. I see your beauty. I care about your feelings. We are not alone. Let's work together. And let's end with holding up our little lights and singing, This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, 
I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. And I know all of my friends are letting their love light shine and are helping their family's love light shine at home these days. So I'll see you all very soon. Goodbye.